Hey devs, welcome to the new video. In this video, I'm not going to show you a tutorial, but I want to mention some things that bugging me and it's annoying me a lot in my mind about game development in general. The first thing I want to mention is going to be about courses and it is valid for both Unity and Unreal devs. I have maybe more than 80 courses in Udemy, I have a Skillshare a membership and right now I'm also using Domestica which is a new platform I think and after all of this course I just realized something that I'm buying courses not just because learn it I'm buying courses because it makes me feel better even I'm not watching it or even I'm not finishing it they're just helping me to feel better because I'm thinking I did something useful and it just started to annoy me a lot and I stopped doing it until now I decided to I'm going to check courses if I really need and I'm going to watch them if I stuck somewhere in the development which is in the second part of the video about specifically Unreal Engine devs I will mention a much bigger thing about it so probably most of you has a lot of courses too and you're just buying it maybe you're finishing it and maybe you're just not watching at all but you it just makes you still feel better if you feel the same, please write a comment down below. I want to read about your comments about this topic. And I just want to know what you think about it. And most of the courses, I'm just checking it. They're mostly for beginners first. And I just checked the Udemy. I just checked especially Unreal courses. Actually, they're not useful. There was a course about a third person adventure game, but it was just like a high school student finishing, I don't know, a computer class project. And I think this is not useful because we're just limiting people with some standard things. So that's why they cannot produce unique things as much as they want. There's a bunch of courses, and by the way, a bunch of templates, like first person template, third person template, a stealth game template. Just let's be realized, if you're a single dev and you're using Unreal, making a stealth game from scratch is... not make sense. I mean, yes, you still can do it for sure, but it doesn't make sense for me at all after this moment. And the, I'm coming to the second part. About a problem in specifically for Unreal devs. So we both using Unreal and I only don't want to use Unreal for virtual production and making cinematic shots and stuff. I also want to use Unreal for video games. I started this journey with using Java LibGDX, then I moved to Unity and for the last two and a half year I'm using Unreal and I studied cinema so I have I, I was thinking Unreal more fitting with me. But in the other hand, Unreal is so overwhelmingly big 3D tool. Even they're using for projects like Mandalorian, a big AAA games. Lastly, they just released a demo for Marvel game and it, they're making it with Unreal 5. And those project is gigantic and we just in the devs. So maybe I feel like just because Unreal is that big, it is kind of limiting us. Sometimes I'm checking each IO to what other people do. I'm checking their games is. And the thing I just realized, most of the unique and successful games made with Unity. I think it is just because Unity is more versatile and you even can make a little 2D game, which is in Unreal you cannot. Technically you can, but you wouldn't choose it to do it. But that's why I feel like just because Unreal is so big and as an we like Unreal devs we want to use a better good textures just bigger environments better characters meta humans and all other stuff but at the end of the day we doesn't have a product in our hands so because of this problem I decided to write a seven different game design document I just made it before I right now I maybe have like five different game design documents I wrote before and I just like I even wrote scripts I read screenplays the dialogues the characters how environment will look and stuff but end of the day I didn't do it I just dump it I just stopped working I made a demo then I realized I cannot finish it and stuff 
this is a valid problem for all game devs, but for in the Unreal perspective, I think Unreal devs are less productive than Unity devs. But end of today, I'm just I'm just happy to use Unreal, and I like to use Unreal. But I need to find a way to be more productive and release something like a proper commercial game. And for this reason, I just set some boundaries. I'm not going to watch any other courses. I'm not going to buy it too. I will write seven different game design documents and end of the week, I'm going to choose one of them and I will start to make it no matter what. Even if it's just a one mechanic game or it's just a so small game, like a one hour gameplay, I just need to finish. Even Unreal makes me feel like this is overwhelmingly big and it is not possible to make a small small things but still fun i will still try to do it because and i want to move away from a general unreal looking even it's a bigger even it's a so smaller project you saw on the hio and stuff textures are so well polished and everything looks better but there's nothing inside action i don't like to do it with that way so being as an unreal game developer is actually hard other than Unity game developer, I believe. Because we have less chance to make a versatile thing. And I think this is not just a chance that most of the Unity games are more successful in Steam and HIO. And they're getting hit because obviously it's more versatile. But I believe there is some successful indie games too, like Choo Choo Charles, less the released as a like, single indie dev perspective. There is one game in each I.O. Uh, something like Void Signal. I don't remember the name. You're just showing in the screen right now. In summary, I just decided to make a smaller experiences. It's still using Unreal without limiting myself to make it look better, make it look bigger, or just adding a bunch of things that not necessary. I We just need to focus on making it fun, not bigger. So actually making it fun part is harder for my understanding and I need to fix it with some way and in this channel I just want to show like a maybe weekly game devlog that what I'm doing and how the process is going so if you want to watch it please subscribe to the channel and if you want to see a video like that please write a comment down below uh, so it just gives me a boost to produce those videos it was not a tutorial I just want to talk some things and I hope you like it if you want to see a more video like that, please subscribe to the channel and like the video, which is helping me a lot to keep up in this channel. Until the next video, see you all, I hope you all doing great work.